Before I start this video, let me take 30 seconds to tell you something about Exergic. Exergic is India's most trusted and most experienced institute for online gate preparation. I am Chandresh Mahajan, founder and chief educator at Exergic. I am an All India Rank 37 in gate mechanical engineering, an ex Indian oil officer having 7 plus years of teaching experience as of now. These are the GATE 2021 Mechanical Engineering Toppers from Exergic. You can find their preparation strategy on Exergic's website. To know more about our GATE courses, you can visit our website or contact us on these details. Also, you can download Exergic GATE preparation app from Google Play Store. The link is available in the description of video. Now have a look at this question from Engineering Thermodynamics which was asked in GATE 2022 afternoon session. A rigid tank of volume 8 meter cube is to be filled with air. Rigid. Okay. Volume is given which obviously is not going to change because the tank is rigid and it is to be filled with air. How? Through a pipeline. Pipe is connected to it. right? So pipe will be used to fill it. We have seen such cases, lot more case, uh, cases like this. Air inside the pipeline, which ultimately is going to enter into this rigid tank, is at 600 kilopascal and 306 Kelvin. So the pressure and temperature of the gas air which needs to be filled is given to you. Initially, the tank is evacuated. So the tank that we have, initially the tank is evacuated. It does not have air. It's vacuum. So there is no mass initially inside. Obviously, no pressure inside. So, there could be a setup of such a valve and pipe like we have discussed earlier. You open the valve, the gas from the pipeline is going to, the gas from the pipeline is going to enter into the chamber. Till what time it will enter? Till the pressure becomes equal to the pressure of the gas in the pipeline. Please note, pipeline is not a limited supply of air. Pipeline is a continuous supply of air with the same pressure and temperature, right? So those two properties, the pressure and temperature of the gas, of the air in the pipeline is not getting changed because continuously it is replaced by the air having the same pressure, same temperature. But filling will occur till the final pressure inside the rigid chamber becomes same as the pressure of the pipeline, right? So final pressure inside this will be equal to the pressure with which the gas is entering when there is no pressure differential. No more gas will be able to enter. So final pressure in this case will be 600 kilopascal, which is the same pressure at which the gas is present in the pipeline. One very basic but small uh, point to note here. Now, initially the tank is evacuated. Initially. And ultimately it will get filled. During the filling process, the heat lost from the tank, that is given to you. How much heat is lost? 1000 kilojoule is lost. Find the final temperature in the tank after filling is done. How much will be the final temperature in Kelvin? Cp value is given to you. Cv value is given to you. Now, this is the question where I don't think it's a difficult question. It's a very easy, very doable question. In fact, we have solved such question before. This is the screenshot from the example that we solved. If you look at this case, this is the same case. We have a tank, we have a valve and you can clearly see heat is also getting transferred. Rather in this question, instead of being filled, it was being emptied, right? And in the gate question, you have to find out the final temperature here. Obviously, slight variation. Rest other things are given and you have to find out heat. So, in the gate question, heat is given and you have to find out the final temperature. So, obviously, minor variation, but overall the process will be exactly same. What we did in this question, exact same process, exact same, we have to follow. Same two steps, mass balance, energy balance. And whatever possible mistakes I told you in this question, same are going to be true for this given question as well. Right? The very first common mistake in this question is, since this is the case of filling of the tank and in filling of the tank, we have a standard expression, right? Final temperature is equal to gamma times of the initial temperature. In fact, this question has already been asked in gate, I think in uh, 2021, just one year before this question, right? 
so there is possibility that some students will just mug up this formula and will just randomly put this into the question here and they will get the wrong answer because of the very obvious reason that here you have heat transfer this expression was for the case when it was adiabatic filling when it was insulated in that situation when you do the filling that expression was there that is why if you recall if you recall nowhere nowhere i ask you to remember such formulae which come from energy balance and mass balance nowhere i always ask you even in the simplest of the expression where you have to find out the power maybe by the difference of uh, difference of enthalpy nowhere i ask you to mug up that formula because these formulae all depend upon the situation depend upon whether heat transfer is occurring whether there is any work we can have work in the systems different types of works can be present so in it depends upon all those situation that is why no where i ask students to learn the formulae if you understand if you understood the concept you know how to apply mass balance energy balance you are good to go no need to mug up the formulae that came from sfe i can make 100 cases of steady flow will you remember 100 different formulae no that is why just remember one which is energy balance mass balance energy balance is sfe in a way right so this is why whatever i tell you i expect that you are paying attention to it you don't mug up the formula i am sure you have not done this mistake because this has been already this has already been discussed so this is not the case of adiabatic uh, filling of the tank so that is why you don't have to directly apply the formula rather what process you have to follow as i told you we have already discussed that in a this is a question separate question but very similar 90% similar right so mass balance we applied first and then we applied the energy balance right exact same process we are going to follow in this question but firstly let us write what are the initial and final condition so initial condition is that in this tank mass is zero since it is evacuated and obviously if it is evacuated pressure is also zero so initial condition is represented by 1 right 1 and final condition is represented by 2 final condition what will be the mass we don't know yet but we know that at final condition pressure will be 600 kPa as i explained the same pressure at which the air is present in the pipeline correct now as i told you exact same process we will follow exact same expressions of mass balance and energy balance we are going to follow i have already done that here so following the same mass balance how much mass comes and goes out will be equal to that difference will be equal to change of mass m2 minus m1 there is no m out m out does not exist because mass is going and staying there mass is not leaving out right similarly m1 is also zero m1 is zero and m out is zero m1 is zero because there is no mass present initially right initial condition m1 is zero so in the two expressions of energy and mass balance we will put these conditions so m1 is zero this is gone m out is zero so what we got m in is equal to m2 very obvious conclusion whatever mass is entering will be the final mass here because initial mass is zero similarly energy balance we applied same expression we applied and here also there is a possibility of mistake but that too we have already discussed again i will tell in this question not a problem so here m out again will be equal to zero m out will be zero and m1 will also be zero right that will simplify this expression but in this expression as i told you in the standard equation expression of sfe what do we assume that mass entered with some kinetic and potential energy right and we added heat to the system to the steady flow device and mass exited with some enthalpy with some kinetic energy with some potential energy and system did some work so input is energy with the mass which is its enthalpy m multiplied by h kinetic energy potential energy let's ignore them for now and q coming in these are input and output is how much is work done how much is the output in enthalpy right and that difference of energy is equal to change in the energy of the system which is this correct so same same equation which we have been applying the same equation we have written here now here as i told you as i told you that the in the sfe equation whenever we write the expression of q it is considered as an input in the standard equation but here q is the output so this q will be coming with a minus sign ultimately when we put the value we will put minus 1000 work is not here kinetic energy potential energy we have neglected nothing mentioned m out is zero 
m1 is 0, right? Already we have written the condition. So q is equal to minus m in h in plus m2 h2. m in is equal to m2. So we have written that m2 h in with a minus sign plus m2 h2. m2 we can take out as common. So we will get u2 minus h in. So this is the expression for q, correct? Now here, what do you think? What can we do? Simply put the value of q with a minus sign. m2, how much mass is present at the final state? That we can find out. Because at the final state, we know the pressure, 600 kilopascal, right? We know the volume, temperature we can find out, properties are known to us of air, uh, the properties of air are also known to us. So M2 will be having an expression of final temperature here, right? And U2, what is U2? U2 will also be having an expression of uh, the final temperature, how? Because U2 is equal to CVT2, U2 is equal to CVT2, correct? Please note, this is small u because mass is already, we have multiplied. So don't again put mc here. m is already common, na? m was already present here. So m we have taken out as common, this is small u. So that's why this will be small c specific heat, which has been given to us in the question. Okay. Similarly, h in, if we talk about that h in is also equal to cp, t in. cp again is known to us in the question. T in is also known. So in this equation, if we expand these terms, put these values, M2 is equal to P2V by RT2. R value will not change. P value for P2 is same as 600. T2 we need to find out. V will not change. It's rigid 8. Similarly, these values we have put as I explained you. And uh, in this expression now, when you are putting the values, be careful about the units because this is in kilojoule. Pressure is in kilopascal, so kilo kilo will cancel. I mean, if you multiply them with thousand with thousand, they will cancel. So it's better just not to write them, right? So this is in kg, this is in kilojoule, this is in kilopascal. Kilo cancelled out. Similarly, this unit, if you check, these values are obviously we know the values. It is in kilojoule per kg Kelvin. Similarly, if you look at the R value which we have put, that is also in the kilojoule term. So that kilo and that kilo will cancel. This will come out in numerator. This is in denominator. Common, it will come out from both, right? So that is why, although we are putting all the values in kilo, still we don't need to change anything. Answer you will still get in Kelvin, same answer. Even if you multiply this with thousand, this with thousand, this with thousand, this and this, all with thousand, this, this thousand will cancel, this and both of their thousand will cancel. So point is, you can directly put the values here in the kilopascal value and now when you put the values here this value when you do the simplification that i have already done already done here when you ultimately simplify this is the final answer of temperature that you will get so this was a exactly same process same method and a similar question to what we have already discussed this was the case where heat transfer was occurring during the uh, interaction of a tank with the pipe or with the atmosphere but here only difference here was that here q you needed to find out and something else was given here something else is given and you need to find out the q all right